Holy shit guys, it's time to start the Iron Man in old school RuneScape. Four years ago, I started Mr. Iron Bar to enjoy the self-sufficient playstyle on RuneScape and perhaps turn the account into something I was proud of. Not thinking how far I would progress the account, I created one goal after another and played for a very long time. Since then, I have completed many insane accomplishments, from completing God Wars to creating a Spirit Shield, from getting the Infernal Cape to completing the Chambers of Xerix, from completing Theater Blood to getting a Max Cape. Many goals have come and gone. For the most part, I was satisfied with where Mr. Iron Bar was at. So I decided to retire the account until new worthy goals could be set. However, the Nightmare Boss has descended. So it is time to return and collect the new drops. So let's talk about Nightmare and the unique drops that it has. So all the drops that it has equipment wise are considered best in slot. It's not like a blowpipe best in slot, but in certain situations, it is the best of the best. So we have ourselves uh, the Nightmare Staff and the orbs that goes with it. The Eldritch Orb, the Harmonized Orb, and Faultai Orb. So that makes four items right there. But yeah, each orb requires a staff, so technically if you want all three, you need three staffs too. And finally, we have the melee stuff that it drops. So it drops Inquisitor's Great Helm, Inquisitor's Harbark, Inquisitor's Plate Skirt, and Inquisitor's Maze. So that is the uh, melee set. It doesn't have a special set effect though, but they do have crazy interesting stats. So the armor and the weapon is basically known for its immense crush accuracy. So the armor set alone is about I think 32 crush accuracy which is crazy because there has uh, no armor uh, top and bottom in the game that has crush so it's the first of its kind but yeah they'll be really good on things that are weak to crush like Cerberus if you're using like a scythe or the mace of course and the bludgeon and same with like Kelfi Queen and of course the boss is extremely weak to crush so yeah that armor is perfect for that uh, place now the Inquisitor's Maze is probably my most desired item because it is the on average best DPS crush weapon in the game surpassing the bludgeon surpassing the uh, elder maul and it pretty much ties with the scythe in a lot of situations it is the most ideal drop unfortunately the staff has an insane cost to use even if I do get lucky and I get the staffs with the orb to use it is very impractical on an Iron Man because in order to use it to its full effect I need to get Tome of Fire Charges, which means I would have to get like 200 mil fire making in order to actually use it. Getting the melee stuff, ideally first, would be like a godsend. So I want to quickly talk about the drop rates for the Nightmare because it's super important to how I'm going to plan out the strategy of how I'm going to grind this boss going forward in the future. So we already know the official rates because Jagex revealed how the drops work. And the most efficient way to get a drop from Nightmare is actually going to be through soloing. And unfortunately, even then, it takes around 80 hours to get a single drop, any of the 8 uniques that I mentioned previously. 80 hours. And if you want to complete all of the equipments, it'll take over 2 thousand hours to get all the equipment not including the pet so like even worse you can easily max any account in 2000 hours i'm not exactly sure if i'm gonna have that commitment to try to spend 2000 hours to get everything on average so uh yeah for now i'm gonna try to get at least two drops from this boss at least two so I'll quickly explain how the Nightmare works. So the Nightmare boss scales with how people there are and it has three stages that you have to overcome. So the first stage, she has two specials. The first one I'll mention is the Hus. So she will spawn Hus on some players and it'll hold them in place. And yeah, you just have to get rid of them. And the other move, it's like the flower barrier that she activates. So when she does it, three fourths of the map will damage you. So you have to make sure you go to the square that is surrounded by flowers that are alive. That is completely safe. And then after that, she will move on to the second phase. So the second phase has, again, two special moves. The first one is Parasite. So she'll send some Parasites to people and you gotta cure it with a bomb or a Sandfuse Serum. If you don't, the Parasite will hatch out of you and it'll hit like a 50 to a 60. 
Surprise! Ooh. And yeah, you don't want that. But yeah, you have to kill the parasites when they spawn though, because it will heal the boss and heal the pillars. And the other move she does is the reverse prayer. So when she activates it for a short period of time, your protection prayers aren't exactly what they normally uh, would do. So if you pray uh, melee, for example, it's not pray melee, it's pray mage. And uh, range is melee and then magic is range. So you gotta keep that in mind, it's pretty dangerous. The final phase involves another two special moves. So the, the first one I mentioned is the dive. So she'll randomly teleport to the side of the map and then she'll dive in a straight line. If you are caught, you get hit about a 50-60. And then the other one is the mushroom spawn. So she'll spawn mushrooms on the ground and if you touch it, it will slow down your attack speed and it will also make you unable to run and it can pass on to other people as well. So that can be pretty deadly if you get caught in the mushroom and then she dashes quickly. In between the phases, you have to charge the pillars though so that it can actually hit the boss because you're actually just breaking down her shield. And then after that, you have to defeat the walkers that's going to try to approach her because that's like her energy. She'll charge a powerful attack where, yeah, basically how hard it hits depends on how many enter. So none of them enter, it's 5 damage. If all of them enter, uh, the fight is pretty much lost. That's one to kill. But yeah, it's, it's very unlikely that will happen. And uh, besides that, she does have a few moves that she'll use throughout the entire fight. Uh, she has an auto attack from range, uh, melee, and magic. They can all be blocked with prayer significantly. And she also has a dark hole attack where basically she spawns like dark holes across the map. And uh, if you're caught in one of the squares that has a dark hole, you will take like 50 damage. All avoidable though, you can just move away from it. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the fight. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of mechanics, but uh, it'll keep you moving and it's actually pretty fun. Okay. Hey, finally first kill. Yo, I got 125 Addy Arrows, bro. Yo, dude, new PB. <laughs> yo, yo, 39 Gold Ores, by the way. That's rough, dude. Oh, Torsto, the best drop so far. Four Torstos. This is... Better than the AK that you should get. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go unlock this this uh, Rissilum bomb thingy. There you go. Gotta actually give him one so you can start buying a bunch. So rune arrows, not bad. Fifty KC, bro. Uh, the best drop still is a uh, three torso <laughs> torso herbs. Damn, this guy got the pet, bro. This guy got the freaking pet, dude. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Cool, cool. Oh, it is a delay. Wow, that's... That's so slow, bro. <laughs> I was already used to the regular, you know? What we get? 81. 81. Ooh. Yo, San dude, San seven torstos? That's a lot more than usual. Oh, wow, elite clue score already? Oh, fuck. All right, here we go, boys. Let's open this up. Ah, Let's turn in all these clues. And do this again. Later on. Oh, I shit. I just hit 100kc. Nice. Triple digits. I got it. Nice, dude. SGS heal guarantee max. The reticle hit. So freaking good, yeah. Uh, I see the guttons, bro. UIM strap for multiple kills at Ashi Hana. Verf coming in with the uh, full guttons. Feels good, man. All right, we're gonna go duo with my boy Mary J here. Uh, yeah, we're testing it out just cause you only get one unique per kill. So if we can get a duel in and it, and it turns out efficient, you know, for us at least. This could be quite viable, you know? So we'll only have to compete with just each other for drops instead of like, you know, four or five other people. Oh, we got it. Nice. Yeah, I still have a lot of prayer left. I think it's because two bludgeons is really slow. Yeah, 10 minutes, 25. Double sights are just a lot better than uh, double bludgeons, like two minutes faster. 200 KC, have yet to see anything still. Uh, bad luck. Bad luck. Oh, I got bass. 
Oh, what the f We finally saw something, dude. You got the fing stab, bro. This guy. Oh, man, that's nuts. Yeah, we, I gotta leave anyways, but holy shit, we finally saw something after 266 kills, bro. Oh, yeah, I need to charge my staff. Fudge, 200k blood runes. I hope that that's enough to last me, uh, <laughs> I don't know, all the way to at least a drop or something. God damn, I already blew like 30,000 on the scythe. I'm gonna invest 30,000 in the uh, Sang staff. Oh, wow, we just saw a Jar of Dreams. Second item seen, but I don't, that doesn't really count though, you know? Alright guys, some much needed quality of life happened to Ashihana. Some really good ones. My favorite by far is the Parasitic Points. Orb now changes to Pink to indicate Parasitic Infection. That's amazing. So Solo Nightmare is actually the fastest way to get a drop on average. Just because the boss can only give one person a chance at a unique every kill. So that means the more people, the more you have to compete with. And mathematically, a 20 minute solo is a lot faster than, say, a 5 Nightmare kills with 5 man. Which is probably like 25 to 30 minutes. That's why it's time for me to actually try and master the solos and hopefully it doesn't cost me too much supplies. If it turns out well, then I'm definitely going to be spending most of my time doing solos because every minute I save is going to matter so much in this potential thousand hour grind. Alright, the second solo. Didn't use any sand fuse this time, just use my bombs. Damn, this kill was slower than the other kill actually. Gonna try to optimize one kill trips actually and go for speed rather than focus on two kill trips. Cause two kill trips I can only see myself doing that if I use a crazy amount of sand fuse, so. Alright, third kill. Uh, our inventory setup changed so much. <laughs> but hopefully, you know, we see a better time. Alright, cool. Uh, I think that is my fastest time, but you know, it could be a lot better. Uh, mainly just the parasite phase, so. I think I'm just gonna try to speed up the parasite phase. By using bruise, because Gutten sometimes take forever to heal me. Yes, this parasite's stupid. It's not even healing the boss. <laughs> Alright, I feel like this kill was really fast compared to the other three. Oh, -ho! sub 20, baby. Let's go. That's nice. Even with full Guttens. Yeah, man, that, that is definitely the way to go, bro. Push that P2 like crazy DPS wise. So I found a lot of ways to optimize my Guttens without actually uh, losing a lot of DPS using it. So you can actually heal off the boss even if you don't do any damage to her. So it's perfect when you're just uh, waiting for the pillar phase to transition over. So yeah, sometimes I can get some really dank heals when I otherwise can't do any damage to her anyways. Alright, I got the kill. Let's see what the time was though. Could have been a lot better right? for sure though. There was a few fuck ups. Ah, 22 minutes. For my 400th kill counts, goddamn, bro. No drop. That's good. Holy shit. That's a nice uh, PB right there with the bludgeon. Got a 1930. Honestly, though, not sure uh, how fast we can go, you know, with the bludgeon, but. <laughs> hey, man, you, you know you could have banked. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, hey man, that's your, that's your fault. That's your, yo, it's, it's just walking around. <laughs> oh, yo, I want to show you guys something cool. So, RuneLight finally uh, added the Nightmare into their logger thing. And, uh, yeah, I'll give you guys an idea of how much money you lose if you don't get a rare drop. So I got 9-8 kills, um, uh, it's actually slightly more than usual because I, I got half of uh, the MVPs which gives you a slight bonus, right? Oh fuck. Oh shit. Uh, I don't know if I can get it on time. Ah, uh, nope. That's so unlucky. God damn it, dude. That's gonna hurt. Are you kidding me? All right, it's time to hit up the secret stash of snake grass from the 90,000 moss shines because we're gonna put this to good use. So the potion that I'm using the most right now for Ashihama is uh, prayer pots. Yeah, man, nothing else comes close to the consumption on this bad boy. So we just gotta really farm these two things, the limps and the snake grass. 
Alright guys, so I'm gonna quality of life my nightmare solos a bit. Yo, check out this new strap, bro. It's pretty dank. I can actually destroy my Dracon's medallion now. Easy! Now I have a space. So I don't have to juggle shit anymore. And I can just bank using the Mount Karum. Alright, so uh, this was... It's gotta be a pretty fast kill, right? Like, seriously. Holy shit, what? Damn, this kill was 19 minutes. Okay, oh, alright. That's nasty. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't think I can get a time faster than this, honestly. Unless uh, I spam the scythe or something and get lucky, but okay. I wasn't recording today because I forgot, but luckily I do stream on twitch.tv slash ricecope. And yeah, I was able to actually uh, nab the clip. But anyways, I discovered that if you let all of the sleepwalkers make it to the boss, then you will guarantee die. Because at first, I thought that it might just cap at 99 for her like special attack. But no, it, it just doesn't really matter what HP you're at. It will guarantee want to KO you. I found a way to stall the parasite from healing the boss by lowering the boss next to the wall. It uh, helps increase the chance that when the Parasite spawns, it will get stuck on the boss for a while, stalling it from healing. So, it's massive time saver. Damn. Wow, you got a jar of dreams. I'm gonna pop out my god sword in a second. I'm gonna show you guys something interesting. Haha, <laughs> nice. I lose zero time with a god sword, easy. Oh, that was a good kill. 600! God damn, boys! I think I've I'm I'm like close to a hundred souls probably. Yeah, I've been keeping track of the kills that I've been doing solo ever since I got the uh, multiple dragons medallions. But I've done so much before though. We're we're over fifty souls for sure. But yeah, six hundred KC. I've been doing this boss for two weeks straight, averaging at least ten hours a day. Just grinding this guy but unfortunately no drops i really wanted to get a drop on the first episode of the nightmare arc i've done 500 small groups of like size four and five and i've done over 100 solos and that puts me easily over the average rate to get any drop so yeah man we just ain't lucky this time around but what do you guys think man at what kc will i get the drop please leave it down in the comments i would love to know and here's a snippet of about 300 kills worth of loot though. At least you can enjoy that. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely consider giving it a like. I'm assuming you did because you made it to the end. But yeah, it would help out a lot in promoting this video. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a French chat, so if you guys need a place to hang out, definitely consider joining ours at Mr. Iron Bar. And also, consider subscribing, that way you won't miss on future videos. And if YouTube content isn't enough, I do stream all of my live progress on Twitch as well. So consider visiting us on twitch.tv slash Anyways, I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care and bye bye.